It's the first day of the mask mandate, which everyone is required to wear a mask indoors where you cannot remain socially distanced. Newswatch reporter Anna Saunders spoke with Fayette County Health Officer Dr. Anita Stort to talk about the various types of masks and address some of the concerns in wearing them. Homemade masks, buffs, N95s, surgical masks, there are all different types out there. But for you, a regular member of the public who doesn't care for patients, the Fayette County Health Department recommends cloth face coverings. This can be a scarf, bandana, or the most popular, the sewn homemade masks. And what that does is it protects your neighbor from your own secretion. So by wearing a mask, a cloth face covering, just like this, you're protecting your friends, families, people that you're in the grocery store with from your own secretion. So you're doing it for others. When it comes to surgical masks and N95s, those will work better to prevent secretions from coming in as they seal and fit around the face. But health officials still recommend the cloth face coverings for the public so that these can be reserved for those who are participating in one-on-one -on -one patient care. One of the biggest concerns we've heard so far are from those with breathing problems who find it difficult to wear any kind of covering over their mouth. Dr. Stewart says it is especially important for these people to find a fabric that works best for them and stay home as much as possible as they are the most vulnerable. If you have really terrible breathing problems, you don't want to get COVID-19. You're going to get very sick with COVID-19. So really doing your best to stay home, socially distance and isolate um, is, is my best advice for that patient population. And of course, with this new mandate, some workplaces may be changing their mask policy. Dr. Stewart says mask policies in the workplace will be key to allowing businesses to stay open. If you're within six feet of someone for more than 15 minutes or you're hugging, touching, you know, those types of things, if someone in your office gets COVID-19, your whole office is going to be quarantined, which means your office will be closed. So if you can wear masks in the workplace, you're going to essentially prevent that from happening. You're going to help keep yourself protected, um, keep your colleagues protected by if everyone is doing their part. Reporting in Fayette County, I'm Anna Saunders, Newswatch. And the health department was giving out masks today at their testing site.